what's happening in the greater Seattle real estate market. This recent article from Redfin says, Seattle's housing market is cooling faster than any other in the US. I think it's time we panic. Kidding aside, before we panic, let's take a look at the numbers first and then we'll decide. Welcome to November's market update where we'll go over the latest data so that you can stay informed. And more importantly, we'll interpret the numbers so that it makes sense to you. There is so much misinformation out there, it can be confusing. Also, be sure to stick around until the end so you don't miss any of the helpful tips. Whether you are a buyer or a seller, you can be empowered in today's market when you have the right information. Let's dive right into the data because the numbers don't lie. It's important to look at both the month over month numbers and the year over year numbers to get a full picture. It may surprise you, but the month over month and the year over year numbers show a decrease in the inventory that has come on the market across the region. Snohomish County saw a decrease of 16.9% in inventory. King County saw a 17.4% decrease, and the city of Seattle saw a 19.2% decrease of new listings come on the market versus the same time last year. Now, let's mention the speed at which homes are selling. When looking at all three areas, the month over month days on market is holding steady with minimal change. In fact, in the city of Seattle, the average days on market actually went down by two days, meaning homes sold faster in the month of October than they did in the month of September this year. When looking at the year over year numbers, all three areas that we look at have increased their days on market. In both counties, it's about double the amount of time from last year, which is what one would expect given the current market conditions. For instance, in Snohomish County, the average time it took to sell a home in October 2021 was 13 days. In October of 2022, it took 31 days. For King County, the average was 14 days last year and 26 this October. For Seattle, the average days on market was 14 days last year, and this October was 19 days. Now, while all these numbers show a significant increase in the days on market, the current numbers reflect a more balanced or what we call a normal market. Let's talk about the sales price to list price ratio, which tells us how much above or below the list price homes are selling for on average. In Snohomish County, homes went from selling for 3.1% above the asking price to selling for 1.4% below the asking price year over year. For King County, homes went from selling for nearly 5% above the list price to 1.4% below the list price year over year. And in Seattle, homes went for selling for 4% above the list price for about half a percent below the list price. Translation, most are selling close to the asking price. Exactly. Okay, what about the median home values? In Snohomish County, the median sales price went up from $680,000 to about $725,000 year over year. That's an increase of just over 6.6%. For King County, the median sales price went up from $825,000 to $910,000 year over year, which is an increase of about 10%. And in Seattle, the median sales price went from $830,000 to $910,000 year over year, which is an increase of 9%. When looking at the year-over-year -year comparison, values are still well above what they were a year ago. And what is interesting is when you look at the month-over-month -month trend, Snohomish County shows a slight decrease of 0.7%, whereas King County and the City of Seattle show an increase of 3.4% and 2.2%. Okay, so what does this all mean? Bottom line, while the market hysteria or the frothiness has gone away, we currently have a normal market. Don't be told that this is the terrible market that you need to run for the hills because prices are still higher than they were yeah. one year ago. Also, most homes are selling for close to the asking price and in some cases, even above the asking price. That's right, not convinced? Click here to watch our video on bidding wars. Yes, even in this market. Now. What are the takeaways for buyers? First, you wanna talk with your lender on a regular basis. Rates have been very volatile and trending up. Do yourself a favor and stay in touch with your lender because you wanna make sure that nothing has changed regarding your qualifications or your affordability. If possible, negotiate with the seller to help pay for a rate reduction on your loan. 
The amount of money the seller spends on your rate reduction is usually way more beneficial to you than taking that same amount of money and reducing the purchase price. Even though rates have gone up dramatically since earlier this year, it could still be a great time for you to purchase depending on your exact scenario. Buyers now have much more negotiating power and more options with less competition. Okay, so how about for you sellers? We still don't have a lot of good inventory on the market, so make sure your home looks fantastic. Not okay, not good, but fantastic. You can do this even with a tight budget. Reach out for tips if you need help. Also, price your home competitively based on the most current data. And by that we mean, look at the current pending homes that are under contract, not the homes that sold months ago and that are too old to use for current data. When you price your home competitively, you retain the power and the leverage in the sale. That way you're not hoping and praying for some unicorn buyer. We still recommend our sellers to have their home inspected prior to going on the market, order preliminary title, and have top-notch marketing so you stand out. How do you interpret these numbers? Do you think it's time to <laughs> We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. While the greater Seattle area real estate market has cooled, we have not entered crash territory but we have officially entered into a more normal market. If you like this type of content, please be sure to subscribe so you can stay in the know and be sure to reach out with your real estate needs. Over and out.